kid. With his shovel? Yes. Was it a yeah. shovel? Yeah, with, with the shovel. Like, he lets you do the thing with the goop immediately. That's true. You don't true. know how long you spent without your arm. That's true. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, so, like, for a have... good fucking while, I would imagine. Is his, is his arm still going to be stapled in Resident Evil 8? Probably. Um, I don't... I feel like at a certain point because he constantly just fucking douses that arm with the healing goop. I feel like he could probably get the staples removed and then heal it that way. I don't know, though. I'm still wondering why, hey. like, Chris fucking John Wick's your wife. Alright, what's this? Ooh. Okay. That's, That's my favorite point. part of the Resident Evil 8 trailer, just, Chris! I'm sorry, Ethan. Plugs like seven bullets into Ethan's wife, and then Ethan just goes, "Why?" Wait, what? In the trailer, at the very end of the trailer, you know how you spent the entire game trying to save Mia in Resident Evil Seven, and then she dies. Apparently, apparently, the catalyst for Ethan going to the village in Resident Evil Eight is that Chris just breaks into his house one night and fucking murders Mia in front of him. And he's trying to find out why. I feel like I know the reason why. I think I do too. Let my boy go. He got trapped in a cage. Your boy? No! Resi 7 already. He's like, oh. Oh, this game fucked up. Yeah, Resi 7 already irritated me because of the whole illusion of choice thing, where it's like, are you escaping with Mia, or are you escaping with oh, the Baker chick? And yikes. it's just like, yeah, nope, you made the wrong choice. No, what? You went in. Why, kid? And now it's just like, well, it doesn't matter either way. One decision. It's dumb. It gives you the illusion of choice, but then it takes it away. But yeah, no, I, I want to know... No, no, no! There, there's only one person that I give a fuck about, like, in the Resident Evil, like, universe. The only person that I want to catch up with. I want to know what Leon's been... I hate these assholes. Doing. Because anyway. it's it, it's very similar to what he had to do with Resident Evil, uh, Resident Evil 4. It's a very similar situation, so he could show up and be like, I've been through something like this before. Villages and... becomes a new merchant. I would without the what are you buying? What if they brought back the merchant though, and he's just like, I just like hanging around villages. Now what are you buying? You got a bass there? I'll buy it at a high price. Fuck. Honestly, where did you think I was going to end up? There's a creepy village full of zombies. Like really. You expected. I love in Resident Evil Four. I love in Resident Evil Four when he's like right across the bridge, and then like when you cross the bridge, all these like ganados are like trying to attack you, and everybody's like, "What happened to the What happened to the merchant?" And I'm like, "The merchant is packing so much heat. The ganados probably don't even think to fuck with him." I mean, yeah, no, fucking, he's got a trench coat full of fully automatic shotguns and rocket launchers and shit. Like fucking. Like, Maybe the Ganados take one look and are like, no. no. Maybe he's infected, but like something's different about him specifically, so he's not hyper violent like the other Ganados. Yeah, that's that. I believe that theory because if you look at his eyes, they're red. What the fuck is that? Oh god! Problem. Holy I, I shit! Think, I think it's a problem. Yeah. Ah. Uh... Dun, 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 Wait, oh. do I have to lure this guy up? And I'm dead. Okay. Yeah, no, that... What the fuck is that? A problem. Yeah. It's a big fucking oopsie. <laughs> Did it just throw it some shit at you and you died? Mm, yeah. So this mm. is a really decayed lizard pig. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the fucking Chozo statue. Yeah, yeah it just that's... completely comes out of nowhere. Just like, pfft, comes to life. Like, oh, fuck. 
What the fuck is that? Uh, like I said, uh, a problem, an issue. This is a plague. It's, it's a pig lizard shows a knockoff. Oh no! Look at this pig Chozo looking head ass. Well, I'm fucked. Bitch thinks he's people. A lot of stuff. Uh, apparently, Zelda is trending on Twitter. Oh. Are they finally releasing Breath of the Wild too? <laughs> Bottom. Don't see anything. Don't see any of that. God damn. It. I, I honestly can't wait for Breath of the Wild too. It's <sighs> Breath of the Wild. Oh, was God damn it! So okay, so that good. did not work. What's Favorite that? res. Is Breath of the Wild 2 happening before Breath of the Wild 1? Because I know it's the, like, Zelda's... You it's know. after. Yeah, okay. it is a direct It is a direct sequel, because you go under, like, Zelda is doing some excavation underneath the Hyrule Castle, and they find, like, the desiccated corpse of Ganon, and then something happens. I'm pretty sure that Link is going... Oh, shit. Oh! ...going to lose his arm. What makes I'm you pretty say sure that? that's what's going to happen. And then <laughs> some fuck shit's gonna happen. Because his arm is glowing and he's writhing in pain. And then Ganon's like, Ugh! Uh, Rainbow Who's as favorite- Is about to get a fucking sweet ass, uh... Is he gonna get, like, a fucking arm? ancient robot arm? Yes, that's- that's a leading theory, is that he's gonna get a chic technology arm. Which, that would be badass. Uh, that would be cool as shit. Like instead of instead of getting a whole bunch of individual tools and shit, you just get upgrades to the arm. Oh, the Sheikah bionic arm can get a hook shot. Yeah, exactly. Like shit like that. Oh wait a second. And you'll yo. And then you won't have to worry about breaking his arm when he fires it. <laughs> or, or, or even even more funnily, you could probably get a shield just built directly into the arm. <laughs> I'm hoping that this next Brett, this next Zelda game gets rid of the stupid fucking weapon degradation mechanic. Yeah, the d durability system, yeah. Or at least, if they're gonna have the weapon degradation system, at least have the option to go to, like, a blacksmith and have your stuff repaired. Oh, no. Yeah, because a lot of that stuff is, like, really cool stuff. And really unique stuff, like the fire sword and the ice sword. Yep. And you know, I, I agree. Shield. I agree, but also, I mean, yeah, no, Hylian shields are pretty pretty easy to replace because by the time you get them in the game, unless you see, well, actually, there's not really sequence breaking in this game because you can do whatever the. Yeah, exactly. You can just go straight from the get go and get it, but. Typically, when you get the Hylian shield, it's typically mid to late game. So by that point, getting a replacement shield is, is really just a non-issue. Because you have so many fucking rupees. Well, yeah, but at the same time, the lore of the game does say that it's indestructible. Yeah, it is an indestructible item. It uh, was Rainbow literally crafted by a thunder dragon, which I believe, yep. given the fact that there are multiple versions of it, I think that these are just really well-made replicas and not the actual thing the original skyward like the original one gifted to the skyward hero who was yeah, the original yeah. like big hero i would uh, love to have the original shield of like you know like the tie-in manga that they had that like showed how like skyloft got into the sky the original link who was a badass oh, i want his shield i think i know what i'm supposed to do okay what are you gonna do? rainbow who's asked favorite Resident Evil villain, Wesker. Is that even a question? The big bad blonde papa himself. Who would win in a fight, Wesker or Jack Baker? Ooh. I would say before you gave him that, like, cure, Jack's, like, infection was stable, and his powers were stable, I'd have to give it to Jack, because Wesker's was unstable, and he had to take, like, that Compound 17 to keep his powers in check. Yep. Ah. Which, by the way, 
it's it's not so much you can't take too little of it it's you have to take an exact amount or you get fucked yep. over and the way that they yep. do it isn't actually by destroying his source so he can't take any they actually just give him a double dose of it and that's what leads to his downfall overdose mm. you just hear the the fucking like whenever you're taking like a a jet in fallout just oh yeah Fucking girl! <laughs> Let's that is good to go! No! Damn it! Uh, now, honestly... You know what Blue Umbrella should do? They should hire Joe Baker. Okay. Because mm. Joe was running around the swamp, ripping the heads off of Molded with his bare fucking hands. It's like you know, a you know, a character is a badass when your reward for completing their first run in that DLC is a gun that they can choose to use if they want. But he doesn't need it. Fucking hell! <sighs> okay, this part. I, I guarantee annoying. you, he learned all that. Yeah, yeah, it seems like it's a lot of trial and error. No, like, I know I get, what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to get that boulder on one of those two, lure him to one of the other uh, switches, get him to uh, lift up the boulder, and then um, land it on top of his head and crush him. Yeah, that seems like it's kind of geared against you. Because, like, his hitbox seems like it's a little wonky, to be perfectly honest. I think the most complicated part is gonna be to get him to lift the thing with the boulder on it. Here's my idea, we use logic as bait. Oh, 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 okay. I am not in the game. We will put you in there Hollow Knight style. <laughs> and you can ah, intrigue him with all your thing. Hollow Knight lore. <laughs> It will be smart. It will be smart, Logic. Believe me. Huh. This does give me an idea. Is there a way to make him hold still? No, wait, hang on. I have an advantage. Oh! oh. oh. Yes. Fuck. Oh, wait, what? Oh, crap. Okay. Still, still catching up for me. Like, it landed on his head, but he's like, fucker. Oh, you damaged him. Yeah. It's so multi-phase. It's, right. it's a multi-phase fight. Okay, that's that sucks. Okay. Oh, shit. Hold at, least you it, know, at least you know it can be done. And he's just turling shit at you now. <clears throat> he always has been. I just I just had to prepare for it. Like, what the fuck, dude? Why are you hurling shit at me? <laughs> Why do you hurl turds in my direction? You're not the great mighty poo. <laughs> Come on, over here. She's in the Wiccan suggested using her rear as bait because it's the color and shape of a peach. Oh my god. What the fuck are you talking about? I, I, fucking seasons in the fucking Twitch chat. Yeah, I'm aware. Like what the fuck? Like what are you I'm talking about? What she's fucking talking about? Like what the fuck what does the that have to do with anything? <laughs> You fucking- I don't know, dude! I'm just here to read the chat, okay? I'm just- <laughs> Golden's trying to kill Man Bear Pig, and I'm just trying to- <laughs> trying to engage! Yeah, fuck you! Yeah! Victory! Victorious! Victory! Screech! Woo! I'm not gonna do the screech. Oh, no. Are you talking <laughs> about the freaking Indian that, call? What? No, fuck it, it's a Spongebob reference. Oh, yay! No. Look, look at him. He did. Yeah. He's... Fuck you, piece of shit. Fucking spewing shit and fucking, th like, trying to eat me. Look at that also, fucking fish man bear. Well, so you know how there was an elevator on the other end? Imagine if they would have made you, like, push it all the way to the other side. Yeah, mm. like if the like if the boss learned as you went. Oh, you can still push the boulder. 
Yeah, you can still play. Yeah. Hey, you. Just roll Vlad, when there. you were talking about using logic as bait for the boss, I offered an alternative. Oh, there is a yellow thing. Oh, yep. yeah, a little orb. Did he spit it out? Or... Oh, I see. He's unlocked the orb menu. Oh my god. <laughs> the running <laughs> joke returns. <laughs> Return of the king. <laughs> Get up there. Anyway. Gods never die. <laughs> the perfect run up. The perfect display of athleticism. That was, yeah, there you go. I agree. Also, gods never die. Uh, my friend, have you played any God of War game ever? Okay, Okay, listen. I'm talking real gods, not no! pussy Greek oh! wannabe third generation gods. Yeah, that's also, fair. also, something always bothered me about God of War three specifically. Huh. So you know how in the first game, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just watched Golden fuck it up after all that. Yeah, you know how in the first game you just straight up kill Ares, as in the God of War yes. Ares, as in Ares the God. <laughs> yes. Allegedly, with the power to kill a god hidden within the uh, fucking Pandora's box, which yeah. was just the sins. Yeah, and how in the second game you elevator? get kicked is like you get your ass kicked by Zeus, and then you kick Zeus's ass, and then you kill Athena, a god. Yeah, and then in the third game where you know you kill Poseidon. Yep, and then you go to hell, and uh, then you go and meet Athena, who tells you that you need to open Pandora's box to get the power to kill a god. After Which killing three, did Kratos not register the possibility that maybe, just maybe, the power to kill a god was already within him? Because I think he, you was know, too... he never put it back in the box. <laughs> Which, I, I mean, wasn't it. that the whole fucking thing about Pandora's box to begin with? Is once they were released, they couldn't go back in? Yeah, yeah. plus, a... I think that. Plus, releasing the evils within the box was what made Zeus so paranoid, because he was yeah, it was by fear. Yeah, and it was what made the other gods a bunch of assholes, too. Mm. So... Which, like, this is the thing, like, the new god of war, I love the fact that they said that Tyr was respected by everyone. Hmm. Which means, like, that's, I think that's the reason why they have, like, treasures in Tyr's tomb from Greece is because the Greek gods sent it as a, you know, God like a mourning it. gift. Like, shit, this guy died. That sucks. He was cool. Hmm. Like, every pantheon respected Tyr because Tyr was a badass. And hmm. Odin's a fuck. Kind of confused yeah. me a little bit that they would send Tyr a jar, not a jar, an urn with Kratos' likeness on it, though. It's like, let us send you, like, artistic yeah, yeah. workings of what is Same basically deal. the Satan of our universe. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean is point. he really Satan if all the gods were fucking assholes? Well, I mean, to them, he was bringing the end to Olympus. So, from their perspective, he might as well have been. Well, we don't exactly know when, when they sent it. Yeah, exactly. And, like, they... there, was, uh, there was that length of time in between God of War 1 and 2 where Kratos was the God of War, so... And I think I they mean... might have been sending it as like, a, as, like, a thing of, this is our God of War, okay. and this is okay. who would have been your quote-unquote battle brother. Yeah, well, that that's is probably. an interesting question. Because, Yay. like, you know, the image on the urn is of Kratos already with the Chaos Blades. Yep. So it has to be at the very least after he swore himself to Ares. Yep. But, you know, late enough that his legend of the being the Ghost of Sparta must have at least been a thing. So... Either after he killed his family, or after he became the god of war. Elevator. They'd have to have sent the urn to tear. My favorite thing is in God of War, like in God of War, when uh when Freya's like, 
do you, uh hell the underworld do you know it and he's like not this one <laughs> also not- i i've noticed a theme that's happened in all of the main series rosaria games. you are like, so correct not is like not in ascension and not in the possible games but in god of war one two three and four i do call it four there is like they've kept this recurring theme where in all four of the main series games kratos has at some point gone to hell or you know the, the equivalent of the damned yeah the and equivalent of awesome. and he's also acquired the head of a renowned figure Oh, you can oh, climb up here. Well, Whoa, he looks really weird when he climbs the ladder. The baby? Bull! Ooh. They look like I lizards. can't wait to see this. Yeah! <laughs> it... Yes! <laughs> it's like you're slithering between the rungs. <laughs> On that note, I'm ready to, uh... I'm ready to, uh... Call it a night. Hit, hit the oh. end. Yeah, I'll continue this some other time. <laughs>